Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Journey Today Show. My name is David. And I'm Britton. Unfortunately, there's a power outage in the studio right now, and we've only got one flashlight. And since I'm the star of the show, I get to aim it at myself. Uh, you're the star of the show? Think again, mister. I'm the star of the show. What? Stars are beautiful and, and they twinkle. That's me. I'm the star of the show. Oh, not so fast. You wouldn't know a star if it hit you in the head. I'm the star of the show. No, I'm the star of the show. No, I'm the star of the show. I'm the star of the show. No, I'm the star of the no, show. No, I'm the star of the show. No! <laughs> okay, so this is a little embarrassing, but it turns out there wasn't a power outage after all. I just forgot to turn the lights on. You know what? I feel embarrassed, too. I can't believe that I behaved that way. I mean, getting into a fight over who's the star of the show? Come on, we all know you're the star of the show, David. <laughs> that, that's, that's so kind, Britton, but, but no, you're the star of the show. I'm the star of the show? Not so fast, mister. You're the star of the show. What? How dare you call me a giant ball of flaming gas? You're the star of the show. You take that back, mister. You're the star of the show. No, you are the star of the no, show. you are the star of <laughs> no, the show. You One hour later. No, you are the star of the show. No, you are the star of the... Okay. Okay, actually, I think... This has gotten a little out of control. Yeah, I think you're right. Besides, now that I think about it, maybe today's Bible story will help us settle who the star of the show is. Seriously? Yeah. It's about a king named Nebuchadnezzar who had this crazy dream. In fact, the dream disturbed him so much that he couldn't sleep afterwards. Oh, you're talking about the story with Daniel in it. Right. Eventually, this godly man named Daniel was taken to the king, and the king gave Daniel an impossible challenge. Yeah, I, I remember this. The king wanted Daniel to tell him what his dream meant. But not only that, the king wasn't even going to tell Daniel what happened in his dream. Daniel had to figure it out on his own. You got it. But here's the thing. How could Daniel possibly know what happened in the king's dream if the king didn't tell him? Exactly. Uh, but wait, how is this supposed to help us figure out who the star of the show is? Trust me, when we find out how the story ends, we'll figure out who the star of the show is. So let's do this. In just a second, press pause on the video and open your Bible to the verses on the screen. When you're finished reading, press play and we'll see you back here. Isn't that such an interesting dream? Yeah, but Daniel didn't stop there. He then went on to tell King Neb what the dream meant. He said, the statue represents five great kingdoms, including his own, that would all eventually crumble and be replaced forever by God's kingdom. Right, and when the king heard what Daniel said, he knew it was true. So he bowed low in front of Daniel and said, I'm sure your God is the greatest God of all. He is the Lord of kings. He explains mysteries. That's why you were able to explain the mystery of my dreams. Daniel 2, 47. You know, here's what I love about this story. Daniel could have taken all of the credit for himself. He could have been like, dude, King Neb, I'm so smart. I figured all of this out on my own. But instead, he told the king, 
No person could possibly know what you dreamed about, but there's a God in heaven who knows. Isn't that awesome? Instead of shining the light on himself, it's like Daniel shined the light on God. You know what? That gives me an idea for a challenge called Funny Face-Off. No way. No way. I, I don't care how funny my face is. I'm not taking it off. David, that's not how it works. Just listen. We are going to turn the lights out again. Then we're going to take turns making funny faces. When your face is ready, we'll reveal it with the flashlight. After each reveal, producer Jordan will give us a score between 1 and 10, 10 being the perfect score. At the end, the person with the highest score is the winner. But the loser keeps their face, right? Right. Okay. Sounds like fun, then. Count me in! Awesome. You can go first. Uh, producer Jordan, let's hit the lights. <laughs> okay, here we go with round one. That's really funny. <laughs> that was good. That was good. Okay. 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 I got a, a three. Great job. All right. I'll take it. A three out of ten. That was that was pretty good. Okay. My okay. turn. Yeah. Your okay. turn now. Okay. okay. Ah. <laughs> a classic pig nose. Pig nose face. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, you got a two. I, got two. I beat you by one Just on that like one. one. Okay. okay. All right. Well, my my turn again. Turn. Here, here we up. go. Here we go. <gasps> oh wow! <laughs> That's mm -hmm. really good, mm -hmm. David. You got a three. A three. A three. I'm stuck at three. <laughs> I'm stuck at three. Okay, okay, though. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Okay, your turn now. My turn. Okay, okay. Yep. Oh, 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 oh. That, that is a good one. Oh, yes! you, you got a six. I got a six. You got a six. You doubled my score. Right. Oh, my goodness. That was an awesome one. Okay, my, my turn. Here we go. You look so different and so silly, David. <laughs> you got, I a got a six. six! I got a six, <laughs> baby! Yeah! <laughs> oh, it's so silly. <laughs> yeah, can you see straight up my nose now? Yeah, we can. We can oh. see your brain. <laughs> oh, awesome. I have one. Good. Yay! Okay, okay. Your turn. One okay. more time. One okay. more time. Last one. Last one. A ten? Yay! A ten? Oh, a ten. You know what? It's the taco. I think producer Jordan is hungry for tacos. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Ah, mm. uh, well, you know what? You got a ten. That means you that beat means you beat me. Winner. All right. Well, let's hit the lights then. <laughs> Oh man, that was hilarious. Those were some seriously crazy faces. They were. But did you notice something during that challenge? When you're in a dark room and somebody starts shining a flashlight, your eyes naturally want to look wherever the light is shining. Right. And that was kind of the point. I can draw your attention to whatever I want just by shining a light on it. That's how it is with giving glory. If I always talk about how awesome I am, who am I shining the light on? Yourself. That's right. I'm shining the light on me. I'm glorifying myself. But if I, like Daniel, tell people that my gifts and talents are from God, who am I shining the light on? God. You got it. I'm shining the light on God who gives us every good thing. In fact, that reminds me of our Bible verse for today. Every good and perfect gift is from God. James 1, 17. Wait, I think I understand. Understand what? 
who the star of the show is. It's not you, but it's not me either. God is the star of JTS. He's the whole reason we even have this show. Right, and he's the one who gave us our talent. Yeah, and even though we like having fans and, and being silly, the whole purpose of us being here is not to shine a light on ourselves, but to shine a light on God. That's so true. And you know what? That makes me wonder something. What are some talents that God has given you? Also, how could you use those talents to shine a light on God or give Him glory this week? Press pause. And discuss. Hey everybody, welcome back. I have one more question for you. Who's the star of your show? Now, I don't mean you have a show like JTS. What I mean is, who's the star of your life? That's such a great question to think about. When we do something awesome, like Daniel did, it's so easy to want to take the credit for ourselves. But the next time someone praises you or asks you where you got your talent from, tell them that it comes from God. Make him the star. Yeah, who knows? Maybe they'll start to wonder more about God. Maybe they'll start to ask questions about God. Maybe they'll even start believing in the greatest, most perfect gift that God has ever given us, the gift of Jesus. So good. And so true. <laughs> hey kids, thanks for joining us this week. Hanging out with you is a blast. For sure. Let's do it again next week. Until then, we love you. Your church loves you. And most of all, Jesus loves you. Bye everybody. Bye. Come on, work. Ah!